Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It's another wonderful Friday this uh, probably October of 2021, making the wonderful day for basics. And I'm over here, wouldn't you know it, on good old KGS, because you guys have said quite clearly that you would prefer a KGS series after our OGS one is done. And I don't really feel like sitting here right now staring at my screen for a half an hour waiting for a three dot game uh i'm lying actually it would probably be a lot closer to um an hour so rather than do that i think i'm going to go ahead and record a couple of games over here on the kgs instead because i don't really know what people are playing like right now on here I know they're playing a lot of uh robots computer go computer 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 but aside from that, I don't know much about this particular community anymore, and we're going to go ahead and change that right now. Just like you can change where you play Go on the one-stop shop for in-person Go, good old Baduk.club. There's 2,500 players, over 300 Go clubs that have been listed on the site, so it's never been a better time to go and check and see if uh, there's anything near you, like maybe you're in Wyoming and you notice that there's uh, there's just no place to play Go and you want to find uh, some people where you can actually, you know, play Go with. And also, just really quickly for those living in Wyoming, uh, people are beings like you that look unlike you and talk unlike you that you can interact with yeah that, that's what people are and you can see that you can find these people who play go pretty much everywhere around you i know i know living in wyoming you forgot they existed but they're there you can check the site and be like oh hey there are people in colorado there are people in utah nebraska like everywhere around you and you would not have known that if it weren't for baduk.club but i have to say alaska people you're slacking you're slacking is there really no go clubs or people who play go in alaska hmm oh well, okay okay maybe juno okay fair 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 never mind never mind i now know this thanks to baduk.club Thanks for in part to them for uh, in part sponsoring these videos. Yeah. Hello there. We got ourselves a game. So um, you'll see in a minute. Ooh, three, four facing. We could call that out immediately, but I'm going to give them a pass on that one because we're essentially playing a uh, close to DDQ level. Now, I'm not playing completely DDQ level because uh, getting a DDK games... Uh, I, I do believe is kind of difficult on this particular server. So I'm not playing DDK, but I'm playing pretty close to DDK. And if I did my job properly, there should now be nameplates on the screen. Uh, you can't see that I am that I am 10Q, but I am 10Q question mark. I went ahead and I played uh, the new go bot really quickly and I beat it by 123 points. So that got me to 10Q. Uh, now we're just going to go ahead and play a nice uh, simple Jiseki here while highlighting our big moves because we're, we're, for the most part, we're, we're for the most part just trading this like a uh, DDQ game. So we're looking after shape, uh, big points, and that kind of thing. So here he has an enclosure to go with his, uh, to go with what he'd want to be having to be an extension. So we're going to block that. Um, he's like we just mentioned in, uh, what game was that? Was that a Don game? I think maybe so, huh? He's trying to go ahead and get the 30 points in the upper right hand corner that we know we're there. We'll probably invade that at some point. For now, I'm going to go ahead and take some points for myself. We will absolutely, uh, invade up in here. There's multiple invasion points. There's like this one. There's this one. There's this one. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and just label it as a 3-3 generically. I also want an enclosure here and an approach. If I can go ahead and get one, that'd be fantastic. For now, he's approached my corner uh, normally, despite the fact I already have an enclosure. So we kick him and then pincer him because you are not supposed to do that. 
So two space extension here, a little bit greedy. Double large knight, very greedy. And then we've got a little bit of an improper invasion here. So a lot of rough areas in this uh, feller's play. Um, I've got a strong wall here, so I can hide two and three stones again. So we'll go ahead and do exactly that. Now this is going to be a little bit messy, but I'm going to connect up. It's going to create two cutting points for myself. I will mind them, uh, but we should be fine. You always call the surrounding game, as you know. So here you can see we are mostly just surrounding our eponants. Connecting back, that's really great. That makes sure that I don't have the 3-3 three, three available to me. And I'm also going to give him Sente. Um, I'm going to give him Sente by playing here. He can take advantage of this cutting point if he wants to. I don't think I can invade him now. Okay. So he's playing these extra moves here. Note, this is what you don't want to do, because I can throw in here and immediately peeps both cutting points. You can only play one move per turn. So no matter how you play, I'm going to get the other one. That would be very, very sad. I will go ahead and defend. And now I'm going to enclose, like so. He did it again. This time he will probably die, because he's already being pincered here. So we kick him, he's already being pincered, so the next obvious thing to do is just to uh, slide up and cap him. Now, I do admit there's going to be a little bit of a problem here. If I play this one, you can see the Atari into the descent. It's uh, not very good. So I will go ahead and defend my cutting point like so. Extend back. Do not honk because it creates cutting points. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and poke his shape. I'm going to poke his shape again. And now I'm going to just go and take six line territory. I could play an aggressive Hane sequence to try to kill him. We are not going to do that. I'm also very, very surprised at how quick this game is going. We are on move 60 from a 30 minute game. I don't know why he decided that he wanted 30 minutes of main time uh, if he wasn't going to use it, but clearly he is not. I'm going to go and take my uh, little pony point. He's like so. Now he needs to keep doing this. We could probably again double Hane and um, just kill this. Um, invasions are definitely not his strong suit, but you know what? Maybe he's working on it. So if you're in a situation where your invasions uh, you feel are kind of trash and you're like buckling down and working on them, remember... Mm, excuse me. Remember, one thing you want to work on with uh, invasions is making sure you have multiple ways that you can go ahead and live. So we can either come out or go under somewhere, uh, that kind of thing. He's being greedy and uh, trying to take away my extension and leaving his weak group behind. That is very, very interesting there. Uh, that, that could get you to Dom level, actually, if you get really, really good at it. Uh, unfortunately, because of the series that we are doing right now, I will murder this for uh, having not defended himself. Uh, but yeah, you're looking for multiple ways to go ahead and live. So it's usually a jump or an extension. If they block one, you can still get the other, which gives you a really good chance of trying to live. Or maybe there's a peep point, you can go ahead and poke that first. Uh, maybe there's an Atari, you can go ahead and get a free move in there like so. Um, like, like any of those kind of, uh, Mii and Sente moves, that's, that's really where your focus needs to be for those invasion points. Like, let's talk about the invasion point in the upper left-hand corner right now. I want to play, let's say, I don't know, this one. The reason why I want to play this position is because, uh, you can find this even if you don't actually know what the sequences are because you're just looking for where do i have two things that i could do because in here you could see let's go ahead and switch to a black little marker here so you can kind of see a little bit better i can go and get into the corner from this stone i could get out from this stone or i can do a little bit of a lean 
for a Tiger Mouth connection to hear from this stone. So I can see like potentially three ways that I can go ahead and uh, live with a stone at E18. So it check marks like the boxes that we're looking for, you know, those wonderful little sente things. Once we identify that, then we are fantastic and we can go and play an invasion. The problem with his is there was really only one thing for him to do in order to live here. And that was to let's switch back to my other color here. And that was to essentially go out. So the minute I say no, we have a problem. And that's why we don't want to invade like this. So here I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick. Um, no, I'm not. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. Shut up. I was thinking about the shoulder hit. Shoulder is pretty good. It does what we want it to do. I think this one will too, though, to be honest. TBH. Now, I can make a pretty solid argument that maybe... I'm worried about my cutting point. I shouldn't be, but I'll, I'll defend my cutting point. Not because I'm going easy on him and letting him live, because I'm looking at my shape, the things that I'm telling you to look out for, and uh, playing accordingly. From here, though, I'm strong. I defended my shape. We've got a billion liberties over here. We've got friends over here. So now, check out what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump, because I'm strong, therefore I can. I'll leave that guy there too. I can extend up because there's nowhere for him to go. He, this group is just dead. So I'll tell you what, what we're going to do is we're going to do a two for one game here. I'm going to skip to the end now because my opponent has been slightly murdered and we can do a quick review and then play again. All right, so here we are in review. Let's look at that uh, once again and highlight the invasion. I'll highlight the invasion first. So the one that I was referring to is, yeah, I play here. And if he says you can't do this, we could do potentially something like this one. That's uh, pretty fantastic. I like it. We could jump out, but that's very, very risky on this board. Maybe not so much because, again, where are these two stones going to go? I'm strong everywhere. So we could probably get away with that. Uh, we could do this one too. This one may lead to slight uh, complication because he could try to go for a co. Note, he cannot go for the normal kill sequence because if he tries, he gets to this part where he has to block and then we're out. From here, there is just nothing uh, that our lovely little opponent here can do. He is uh, allowing us to just live because you can't do a easy full kill on a double large knight in the corner. So pretty straightforward. All right, got ourselves another game. This time is an 8Q. I'm black again. And because of the nature of how KGS actually displays its stuff, I need to re-tell it what window I want. Hello. Looking for this window and this window. All right. I'm going to do a 3-4 face this way this time. And I'll give my opponent a lovely hello. Ooh, AQ getting all up in my face. AQ getting all up in my face. All right. He says hi, GG. And I will not get offended at that. Um, Diagonal backs are pretty, uh, pretty a thing nowadays. Okay. <laughs> this guy is aggressive. So here, I could actually fully ignore that if I wanted to. I will not. I'm going to go ahead and play here. I will respond to shoulder hits. And, okay, don't, don't, don't go full crush mode. Okay, what are we doing? Basics. Um, Pincer, my group's strong. He doesn't have a base. I'm in the corner. I'm out. He doesn't have a base. Pincer him. There's no move that I can see besides this one. I mean, I could do this, I guess. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got nothing else. I've got nothing else. I'm, I'm in the corner. I'm out. He doesn't have a base. I'm pincering. Like, I tried to think, like, well, no, you know, maybe I'm not sure that I'm not okay. 
maybe I'm not sure that I'm okay and I should defend my corner instead, but why? I'm out. Like, what, what, why would I do that? Tane is easy. He's shoulder hitting. Now here you have a choice. You could play here, you could play here, you could play here. You could even play a small uh, knight if you'd like to. I'm going to play another Diagonal Lily. Now we're not trying to kill, but you can see that we've kept more pressure on him. Which gives me a much better result than if I were to have just, you know, curled up into the corner and been like, please stop hitting me in the face, sir. He wants my corner. Guess what? He gets to have it. Because why would I defend literally three points on the first line? That would not make any sense. So we're keeping our eye on where are the bigger points. There you go. He wants my corner. Fine, have it. There, have it. It's yours. I'm out. I do not care about this. Like, even if I had gotten this move here, two, four, six, eight, are you ma? <laughs> like, mm, I don't know about that one, sir. Don't let him kill me. He turns. I'm going to Hane. I'm not finding any lines. Turn so I don't get surrounded. Now, I will completely say that this looks complicated. It really isn't. It's just, what is the next weak group? Like, he hit my group, I defended it. He's got two groups that aren't alive yet right now. I could kill this bottom group. Because I can go here, here, 0.5i. I could Hana here, but I'm not going to because I need to read the cross cuts, and that gets into uh, actual reading battles. So this game is kind of a game. Uh, I'm not going to touch him. I was going to diagonal out. This kind of gets into a game where he hasn't made any points, and if he keeps this up, he's already losing the game. If he keeps on not making territory with what he's doing, because I am, I am. If I play here, he's going to pincer me, and I'm going to jump out, and I'm going to be annoyed. The bad idea, by the way, uh, for numbers. If he pincers me, one group, two group, three group, four group, five group. Okay, no, sorry, one, two, three, yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. That is very, very bad. I can live locally. Therefore, I don't care if he surrounds me. I'm just into surrounding his, his groups one by one. One by one. We'll just keep surrounding them. It's in his benefit. Yep. Just, just like I said, I don't care. Boom. I'm up to live. Just going to live. It's whatever. After I've lived, I might go back and poke at this cutting point, but not before. Very aggressive player, though, ain't he? I like... I like the aggression. Okay, I do. But it needs to be smart aggression. I could play here, because if he cuts through here, I can just go ahead and cut through this back. So this... This should be my move. I'll go ahead and play this one because I know some people are a little uncomfortable with that one and I don't want to, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to do the things, you know. I don't want to connect up either, so I'm dropping down. Bum, ba, no. One second. Sorry about that. Getting a little distracted here. There we go. Again, just drop straight down. I can link a uh, diagonal to connect if I need to. Not a problem, as you can see. So yeah, right now, it's very much a question of where does he think he's making points from? It's not killing me. I think he was hoping that he could just turn around and kill me for no reason. Sure, drop down there too. Still not alive here. This here is just like four point or uh four uh yeah. Not uh not alive there. So I could push and cut here. I'm gonna defend here first. 
the absolutely last defensive move I need to play. Okay. Um, I can extend three from two because size of wall plus one. So, but, 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 but. So we shall. This is his biggest source of territory right now. Just one corner. Nothing to worry about. Now I'm a little confused. Does he think he can like honey on the end or something? I mean, I don't... Like if he plays here, I drop down. This is a two, four, six, seven, maybe eight point ice base. I play this one too, right? So you can't kill this. Defending. Um, I'll jump out. Right in this round. Interestingly, interestingly enough, even if there was a throw in here that killed me right now, I play here and then the other one dies. So even if he had a chance to uh, kill me here, because of the no points he's taking and all of the weak groups he's creating, even then he'd have a hard time winning the game. Like, I get that you might want to be an aggressive player. I understand. I get it. I'm with you. I love, I love aggressive games too. But you can't force the aggressive games. It kind of just have to kind of uh, happen organically, you know? Otherwise, you just come off looking like a jerk. It's kind of like, um, it's a good example. I don't know. I have no, I have no good examples. No good examples. Jumping so we can't cat me. I will let him out here. When he jumps again, I'm going to defend my corner and let him kind of get like a turn kind of thing happening here. Yeah, see, I'm going to force him over this way rather than keep chasing him and then potentially uh, kill him. I could, I could tap this right now in Sentai. He gets like 0.5i there. That was a bad idea. How do I give him Sentai back? Uh, I could... Mm, I, I, I said... I said respond to shoulder hits. Oh, I have to play here. If I do this, he's going to play there, 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 there. He might be okay. I want to have some points though. I'll play here. I followed up my last move. Now, if I want to attack this group still, there's one on the bottom. Take special note that I could push. He blocks, right? And then we can poke. He connects. We poke. He probably connects again. And then at that point, we could play over in here to ensure he only has that one eye. Kind of rough. So here I'm pushing him over to the left. I'm going to actually extend here two times. Just to get him to safety. One more time. Now he should be 100% alive. I'm not, so I'm going to make shape. A couple ammo. I have made shape. Because you see, now that he's capped me, I'm the one in trouble. So we have to go ahead and defend. I could probably play here and just like hedge my bets that he probably can't kill me. But we ain't about that in basics, are we? No, if there's a weakness and you don't have a counter to that weakness, then you need to defend that weakness. Or you're okay losing everything associated with that weakness. It's just how that goes. Just how that goes. That them's the rules. Them's the rules, man. Okay, he's trying to attack me now. Can't do it. I literally just made shape. Literally. I literally just made shape. I do not believe that he can kill me now. 
It is not possible. You get poke here, go ahead, take, I don't mind. We're still going to probably live. Very likely, most probably, very likely, definitely live, maybe. It is my belief that I've got in my heart. What's he gonna do? Okay. Yoink. Yoink. Atari. He could play here. He could play there. Maybe he could. You know what? Let's treat it like he can. If he extends up, we're going to pretend this does not exist for me. That I can't Atari. Because he could play here right now into a... Oh, smack. I just got smacked. Extend up. You can see I'm going to table shape many extends. Mm, 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 mm. He does have a bit of a risky uh, thing here. Ooh. I was thinking that's a, a bit of a risky thing here because I could go pop, 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 pop. And I could still do pop. And we're surrounding him now so that we could just go for the immediate kill. Tell you what, we could grant him my two stones in respect for seeing these two, this uh, cut here. Tell you what, sure. Tell you what, not sure. I want to save these two stones because I want to show how to live here with this group. Because right now, it's all about shape. All about shape. All about shape. All about shape. All about the sheep. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Glorious sheepies. Gotta play the shapies. The shapey shapies. Play the sheepy, 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 the sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. I need him to defend these two stones, preferably. That way I can show how to make shape here. If he gives up and attacks me, it's going to be a little bit sad, because then I lose a nice little lesson on how to uh, make flexible shape. Uh, ostensibly, what we've got, uh, the ability to take notice of here, is... Ooh, thank you is I do have a poke here. I could actually cut straight through here, to be honest. But I wouldn't do that, because I hate that move. Um, but yeah, I've got the poke here into here. That's already one eye. Now, I am going to turn, because I'm threatening to take the two stones. Now, he probably should have cut me right there, but that's okay. Now, I'm not going to connect here solidly, because he could still, like, maybe play something later on. Right now, I'm going to play this one. It opens up another eye, uh, eye point. This is completely solid now. In fact, we might even be able to play here into here for two eyes directly. Maybe, maybe not. But we should be fine. We should be fine. He can't net me. If he tries, he will die. Now, ideally, you would also take note the fact that uh, this isn't completely alive yet. Danger, Will Robinson. Turn. Stop strengthening the group that's actually putting pressure on you. And it's this cutting stone. Uh, little group dealio, right? So we're turning. Getting the focus here and off of here. Because if I get stronger without this other group being strong, being made stronger then um, I might be able to just kill it. Like right now, I could play here because of that. I could, because of this exchange we just did right now, I could play here. If this goes in a straight line, this group is completely isolated, so it's in a lot and a lot of, lot of trouble. That's how I'm just going to play here and defend. But you can see the ideas behind um, how, how some of these moves actually work, you know? Now, because I decided not to go ahead and play the shape move, I have to go ahead and lean on him like this, which is kind of majorly annoying. But we'll do. We'll go ahead and do it. 
Um, I'll go ahead and drop straight down like so. We have an eye here and an eye here. We're now alive. Uh, we gave him a little bit out of result, but as a result, but that's okay. It's okay. Vihane's here. We will slaughter him and everything that he stands for. Are you going to try to kill me? I will end you. Okay, there. Thank you. <laughs> so right now, um, I should poke here and see what he does. He has to play here. And then we can push. He has to block. I get to cut. If he towers me down, he has to defend. And then I get to turn. This whole group could still die. That said... That side will play here, it's fine. He gave me Sentai. Alrighty then. Rather than kill him, I'm just gonna go ahead and poke uh, and get this area. We've got the right, we've got this, and uh, he doesn't have a lot of territory here, as you can see. He's got whatever this little corner is in this corner. Um, so he's dead, he, he's, 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 he lost. I can push again, because this pushes Sente into really bad things. This is uh, Sente, because he has to make two eyes here, or he's going to die when I push. Because this is not life, uh, two eye, this isn't two eye life in the corner. So he needs to play another move here. This one should do it, because I can't put, oh, wait. He might be okay. Might be okay, price check. Here, here. Into here. No, here, here, into here, here, here. I think it'll be fine. He should be fine. I'm actually not, I'm actually not trying to kill him. <laughs> He's a little confused, too. Because he knows if he plays here, I got this one. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I assume it's alive. So we'll play here. He's got that little guy in Sente, so I think it's just, uh, I, I think it's just fine. The Hane here threatens to throw in. Uh, I'll go ahead and make sure that he can't come over to the left. And now that's a huge, huge corner, or not corner, uh, side, sorry. Because this is three by one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. Where is he at 15 points? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12. Very, 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 very big. Not to mention, I still have the right, which I fear he will try to invade. That is my assumption. He will try to invade the corner. I'll be shocked if he doesn't try it. Okay. So we're now in endgame. I'll go ahead and connect. Yeah, I guess it's, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. No problemo, man. There's no the problem. What can he do, though, is the question, huh? There's the invasion. There's the invasion. <clears throat> so we're gonna play here. Mm -hmm. Hane, block, tiger, block, throw. Dead. Push, defend, cut, eyes, fine. Or you could probably clamp here as well. That's an intrigue. If I play here, does he have a chance to live? If I play here, he could do this one, this one into this one. I guess that would be a chance, hey? We'll turn instead, because, I mean, obviously. 
Alright, he should be dead. This one maybe could have been played one more over. Here, here, and then there, there. Yeah, maybe this one, maybe one over would have been better here, huh? Yeah, maybe so, maybe so, maybe so. I, th I think this will get the job done too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he take him out now. Um, I don't know. Push, I guess. I mean, the take is also fine. It's all gravy. Yes. That, uh, I don't think that ever should have lived. And he has to be careful again, because like I mentioned, there's that little uh, throw -si doodles in there too, you know? I don't know. Push again, I guess. Oh, someone's getting clever. If I play here now, he Ataris and connects. And then, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, he's got me. But if I play here, he don't, he don't got me. And now he's poking at that uh, bad spot that I mentioned they shouldn't poke at. Might remember that one. I guess he could play here into here. That's actually uh, concerning. Because he plays here and I play here. He can push and then do that. Oh, well, that's not... Uh, that isn't gravy, baby. <laughs> that's... That's not the best. That's not the best at all, is it? Sorry, I keep looking at the fact that that's a thing that actually exists in my world now. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very much unhappy with that. <laughs> very unhappy with that indeed. Because after he play, yeah, after he pokes that one, how am I getting my two eyes? Like, he plays here first, right? I guess I do still have this clamp. Though I don't like having to play it, to be honest. It's kind of awkward. Kind of awkward. I guess I, I run in that position a lot, you know, when I, I've clearly, clearly backed off too many times and let someone live. But the result of that is like, I'm, I'm actually in trouble there now. Ugh. Letting people live is, is, is difficult. It is difficult, you know. Because they live, and they remember that they were attacked, and then they, like, try to get revenge on you. Ah. Maybe I could have made a better shape here. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I missed a better shape here. You know? Maybe that was my fault. Probably my fault. Probably my fault. That's okay, though. It's okay. He comes underneath, we will throw immediately. He takes, we play here, and then he connects there. We'll just go ahead and give him that one. Hmm. Hey, well, let's go ahead and connect this one up. That way, there's no weird things here. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. 
So the rest of this should just be endgame. Because I don't think he's going to attack my position in the middle. And I don't think I'm going to give it to him. Like, unless I play here right now. That ends all my problems. But we'll, we'll hold on to this first. I think we're going to be okay. Now, he can't actually poke here anymore. Because when I connect and he goes for the kill... I've got uh, some dangerous stuff there. So I will go ahead and do this one right the frack now. Make my little two eyes. Yeah, if he poked here and then tried to kill this, we then would turn here. And then suddenly he has to live in all the things, which is would be hard to do, actually. That's hard to do, especially when you got like the clamp here to... Uh, Start falsifying stuff. Uh, yep, I have an eye still. My eye is my eye. My eye is my eye, good sir. So, since the rest of the game, let's just go ahead and hop straight to uh, review, shall we?
right, got ourselves a 7Q rank now. Let's go ahead and do a quick review here. Had a little bit of a miscommunication in the end game. I think he thought we were on Chinese counting or something when I was filling the Dame rather than retaking. It's just like, no, I just didn't want to fight the code, dude. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this was, I, I forgot we opened the game up this way. Yeah, this is insane. Like, hard insane. You could also lean this way, that'd be fine too. And then, like, pincer over here. Like, there's a lot of ways you could actually handle this. It, it's, it's just lean on something and then attack the other thing after you're strengthened. That's pretty much all, all there is to it. Just nice, straightforward. And yeah, here I just couldn't figure out a way, I, I just didn't know what else to do here. To be honest, I know I didn't want to kill him, but I mean, aside from that, I wasn't really sure. Uh, this is just straightforward. This is just a game of don't surround me. Uh, here, again, don't surround me. He said don't surround me, so I surrounded something else. He surrounded me. I just lived, went back for the surround, gave him sente. He gave me sente back. Got myself a base, and then he gave me Sente again, but then we just got rid of it, I think. Did we? No, actually, we kept Sente that time. Right, right, right. And then put pressure here. We could probably have played this one to try to kill this group. Uh, maybe even something over, like, to the right one. If we really want to be more aggressive. I mean, he's just a bamboo joint with, like, one, two, three, four extra liberties. I mean, this, this, this is not a thing that he survives, you know? Like, that's not a something that he lives. He can't just be like, all right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's say he cuts me. Whatever, let's say he cuts me. Like, that's, that, that's what he's committing to. And I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven limbs on the outside. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would just probably kill that. Um, anywho, we play here instead. Normally you would play this one because he has to figure out what to do here. Which is actually tough. Ridiculously tough. Because, I mean, now what do we do? Do we do something like this? Like, just to, that's, that's a resignation. That's, that's a resignation. Uh, thank you. Um, so yeah, there's that. Here, it's pretty much the same thing. We could go and keep harassing him. But we just let him out instead. He tried to counterattack me, which was not bad. He found this, which was not bad. And then if he played here, we're going to play this one because he can't really do this one, though he might. It would be slightly awkward if he did that because then I have to like just kind of be like, oh, well, hypothetically, I guess that does work now. And then I have to go back to be like, all right, we're just going to play here. Because we can just go ahead and kill this. I mean, that's just a thing that happens now. Though before I do that, I might have to go back and do the uh, solid connection here, probably. Hello? That way when he plays, I don't know. And he tries something. Like, I don't I don't know what he's gonna try. Like, it's hard to say, but we're fine no matter what. Um And then here, yeah, we just play this one. Cause how is this group gonna live? We don't even know. We don't even know. We have no clue. No clue. Can it live? Maybe. I'm not sure. Might. But I mean everything up there is destroyed now as a result. And yeah, this was unforge because it looks like I might actually have a kill here, huh? Like, I play here, he plays there. He has to be very careful on his move order because this is a potential death. Which actually you might have noticed that it was uh, later on in the end of the game. I thought for sure he was alive, though. Let's look at that again. Yeah, here. Like, I thought if I play here and he played here, he'd be fine. He is fine. Okay, yeah, he should have been fine here. I thought so. I looked at that and looked at that. Like, there's no way I can kill this. 
And yeah, I'm right. There's no way I can kill this. But unfortunately, he played this one, so now we can play here, and now he's dead, because that's a false eye, right? Because there's nothing that he can do in here. But yeah, the minute I play this one, then Atari, he can't connect, because all those are false eyes, and then he only has the one there. Interesting games today. Hope you enjoyed our beginning of our KGS series from 7Q now, so... Yeah, it's a small handful of games we'll be playing down level players. But until then, I hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, I will see you next time. Take care, buddy.